Okay, let's trade some tech. Alan Nutman joins us, Chief Market Strategist at BullseyeOption.com. Alan, how was your weekend? Did you get some rest? Uh, good weekend, but you're going to have to extend my time today because oh boy. we did it for two weeks ago when it was bad enough to buy. Yeah. And the 25 call for July went from 7 to 12. So that illustrates this strategy. So a modest move in the stock, actually a pretty healthy move, produces big, big gains if you have the right in the money option. Hey, what do you do with Uber now at 37 bucks? where after that bounce, it's right at a point at which I could draw a very simple line connecting all those lower highs. Uh, do you want to bail here, Alan? What's the plan? Sell too soon is part of the strategy. You sell half your positions when you have a 50% gain. 50% is nothing to complain about. And then you hold the other half positions uh, and see if we can get 100%. So that's the strategy. That's the money management I use with these in-the-money options. And that's been successful for, for a long time here. Yeah, you leave money on the table. Uh, but to get back to your Uber, you know, I'm older than you are. And remember Just when the banks first gave us uh, a money card? And they would charge, they didn't charge us to use our money card. And then they decided to charge us a dollar and then three dollars just became part of life. So that's what Uber did. They snuck, stuck their nose under the tent and then they raised prices. Yeah. And uh, the market's caught wind is something, though, that doesn't make sense in this tent. Maybe there's uh, maybe it's getting too crowded with other competitors, et cetera. All right. So you took off uh, half the position for Uber after the bounce, according to your process. Right. Yeah, that's okay. that's that's the way we, we trade this. So it's very mechanical. Trading is not about uh, having fun. Making money is fun. So what you have to do is have your methodical plan in place. Trading is very straightforward, actually very boring. So, you know, it's it's a having hey. that identify, execute, uh, max to, to, to manage the trade and then try and maximize the trend. So that's what we try to do each and every time. All right. I don't know about the trading boring part, Alan. Uh, come on. You know where you are here. OK, uh, let's talk. Uh, I know you're being facetious. Let's talk some Micron uh, as you uh, are looking at uh, the chip maker. After right. uh, last week, we had a bit of selling right after their earnings. It was a short lived uh, earnings response to the upside and then a really hard fade uh, afterwards. That was uh, last Wednesday. Uh, so what's going on here? You think that uh, maybe they still got some life left in them? Oh, yeah. Great numbers. And I'm going to say tech's not dead yet. Uh, again, 15,000 is important to close above that from a psychological uh, point. You know, if you look at the S&P and the Dow, they're within 5 percent, 4 or 5 percent of the all time top. So there's some value in tech and value is in Micron. Micron here at 7750 is about 20 percent off its January top. What's interesting here is it's down 15 percent in the last year of trade versus tech. The NDX is up 15 percent. So, again, a little bit of a rubber band snapback is what I'm looking for. Uh, it's been trading between 70 and 100 for a year. So 85 is the midpoint magnet that you can see the market make a run to. And it's got some super support at that 70 level. I'm leaning on 70 and uh, using my stock substitution strategy. Okay. All right. Uh, I like it. So bullish on Micron, looking for a little bit of a bounce here. And uh, stock's yep. doing okay this morning. About a percent. A higher. June option has almost three months of time. It's only $100 more expensive than May. So I'm seeing some smart money buys. You know, yet last week was some profit taking after some after some beats on on profit and, uh, you know, on, on, on net income. And they also had some uh, good comments for for the future. So I think there's a lot a lot there with good risk reward. And that's what's more difficult now after stocks have surged is finding these stocks that have the good Good risk reward uh, and leaning on that 70 level is something I like as a trader. Trading is fun, but if you're having too much fun, that means that uh, maybe you're getting a little bit too excited or too worried. Um, so, you know, like I said, you want to have a, a straight face and, uh, and, and treat this all about probability and money management. Okay. All right, Mr. Duckman, trading and management, uh, trading and money management, uh, uh, managing your risks, I, I guess maybe that is boring at the end of the day, but if it right. makes you money, nah, just kidding. That's great <laughs> stuff. All right, it's just poker, baby. All right, I'll manage your downside and eventually turns into upside. Thanks, Alan Nuckman, Chief Market Strategist All right. at BullseyeOption.com. Okay, with the Uber trade, too, uh, as Alan mentioned, they put on a, a few weeks back, uh, taking off uh, some of that and putting some money into Micron, looking for a bounce from here. If Micron's going